In this video, I'd like to go over kind of the introduction to mixture problems. Mixture problems are one of the more complicated types of word problems that students see in an algebra or a beginning mathematics course. And I think the issue that makes them so challenging is that sometimes we lose track of really what's going on in the examples. And it turns into just being memorized formulas or memorized pictures. So I really want to go through this and show and look at the types of things that we might see in a mixture problem. And this isn't a, both of these examples are more a beginning mixture problem. So here in the first example, I'm mixing together two solutions. I have 40 milliliters of an 8% alcohol solution and 35 milliliters of a 2% solution. The questions I want to know, what is the new volume going to be? So what's the mixture when I put them together? What's the total volume? How much of that volume is going to be alcohol? How many milliliters? And what percentage of alcohol is this new solution? Now, I always recommend that students draw a picture. And you can't get more basic than this picture. This is a mixture problem. What does that mean? You're taking two quantities. So imagine that these are two containers. And each one of them contains fluid. Or in the next example, it's actually going to be a solid. But here we have a solution. And this solution is going to have a certain concentration. So here that might be 8%. And we're going to add to that a solution that's just 2%, so it's not as concentrated. And that's going to produce some new quantity. And it's going to be a quantity that, well, we don't know the concentration, and right now we don't know what the volume is. So what I typically recommend students do is, again, just start with this picture. We're taking two mixtures, adding them together. It's producing. It will be equal to some other mixture, in this case a container of fluid, an alcohol solution. Now the two big things in this problem that we need to keep track of, one is just the volume of the concentrations, which means the volume of the cylinders and the volume of the solutions, and the second is the concentration or the strength. These are the two quantities that we want to keep track of. So I'm going to label each one. And typically what I do is underneath each cylinder, I just write the volume. So the volume of this cylinder, this is the 40 milliliter solution. I'm mixing that to a 35 milliliter solution. At the time, I don't know what the new solution is going to be, what the volume is. This first cylinder, this first container, has a concentration of 8%. This is an 8% solution. The second, the 35 milliliters, this is a 2%. So it's just me making sure I know what the volume is and the concentration of what I'm mixing. Now the first question is, what is the total volume going to be once I mix them together? This really shouldn't be too challenging. This is just going to be the total, right? The volume, I'm taking 40 milliliters and I'm adding to that 35 milliliters. So what's that going to produce? That's going to produce 75 milliliters. And really, that's it. That's all that that's it for that. That's all that we need to do for that particular problem is just to first calculate when I mix these together, what am I going to produce? 75 milliliters, just adding those together. The second question is, how much of that is going to be alcohol? Well, 8% of this 40 milliliters is alcohol. So what I want to do is to take this 8% and figure out what is 8% of 40. So I'm going to take 0 0.08, multiply it by 40, and that's it. I mean, that, that's really all we're doing here is we are calculating the number of milliliters. You're going to get 3.2. So this has 3.2 milliliters of alcohol because 8% of the 40 milliliters is alcohol. Now, what about this next mixture? Well, 2% of 35 milliliters. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take 0 0.02, and I'm going to multiply that times 35. And what you're going to get is 0 0.7.
So 3.2 milliliters are of alcohol are in the first container. 0 0.7 milliliters of alcohol are in the second container, which means when you add those together, so 3.2 plus 0 0.7, that's going to give you 3.9. So 75 milliliters, out of that 75 milliliters, 3.9 milliliters are alcohol. So I've actually, I've just addressed the first question, it was first, what's the volume? Then I, I found out how much of that volume is alcohol. The final thing I'd like to do is to figure out, well, what percentage of this is actually alcohol? And there's lots of ways you could do this. And I'm going to set up a proportion. I know the part, the percent over 100 will equal the part over the whole, or the part over the total. So I don't know what the percentage is. That's my unknown. That over 100 is going to equal the part, which in this case, the part that's alcohol is 3.9 milliliters, out of the total, 75. So when you solve this for x, we're going to cross multiply here. We're going to get... 390 equals 75x. I'm just solving for x in this case. So 390 divided by 75, we get 5.2. So that's telling me that this is 5.2% alcohol solution. Again, I drew the picture. I labeled the volumes and the concentrations of the two that I'm mixing. And then I added the volumes together to think about what's the volume of the mixture. I found the, the amount of alcohol in each container, added those together to get the total amount of alcohol, and then used a proportion here to, found, to find the percentage of the alcohol. Uh, in this case, the percentage of that 75 milliliters that is alcohol. Now, the second example is going to be very similar. So if you'd like to pause and try it, please do. But I'm going to go ahead... I am mixing, excuse me, I'm mixing together 20 grams of a 1% solution, 40 grams of a 3% cream. So both of these are creams. And I want to know what's the total weight in this case, the total amount of grams that the mixture is going to be. What or how many grams are going to actually, uh, of the lidocaine, is that mixture going to contain? And what percent is this new mixture? So I'm going to draw the picture. And it's a very generic picture. I'm taking two quantities, two things. I'm adding them together. They are producing a third. The first quantity that I'm mixing together, it is a 1% cream, 1% lidocaine, and I have 20 grams of that. The next container or next thing that I'm mixing together, I have 40 grams that I'm mixing, and that's a 3% cream. And I don't know what these are quite yet. So the first thing I want to do is to find the volume. And, and I'm sorry, the volume. I want to find the total. Once I take a 20 gram cream or 20 grams of the first cream and add 40 grams of the second, well, when I add those together, I'm going to have a total of 60 grams. That's it. That's the first part. The second part is to consider the part that is pure lidocaine. So 1% of this 20 grams is going to be lidocaine. So if I find 1% of 20, this is going to be 0 0.20 grams. And this is of lidocaine. Lidocaine, something like that. Okay. So for the second container here, the second cream... I'm taking 3% because 3% of that 40 grams is going to be, in this case, is going to be lidocaine. So 0 0.3 times 40 is going to be 1.2 grams of lidocaine. And when I sum those together, 0 0.2 grams plus 1.2 grams, the new mixture is going to be, that shouldn't be an arrow, that should be an equal to sign. We're going to have 1.4 grams total of lidocaine. So I'm just thinking about mixing those together. And now I want to figure out what percent is that. 
Now you could set up a proportion just like we did up above. I could also take 1.4 grams out of the total 60. That's going to give me that part out of the whole, and I can multiply that times 100. So let's put that in our calculator here. 1.4 times, or excuse me, divided by 60. And I'm going to multiply that times 100. 2.3 repeating. So this is 2.3 repeating, which is approximately 2.3% lidocaine. So we have a solution. In this case, it's a cream. 60 grams, and out of that 60 grams, 2.3% is going to be lidocaine. Drawing a picture, labeling what you're mixing together, thinking about you know, your intuition of what it is you're mixing, what the percentages are telling you, and relying on that intuition and your understanding of percents to go ahead and figure out what is con contained in each container and then summing those together.